everyone and welcome to the news of Ashuraq TV. Our headlines tonight include Wuhan praises the Sudanese-German relations in all fields. Sudan postponed Nahda Dam negotiations to the next week. Today the locality presents a memorandum to the Sovereign Council in Khartoum. The President of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, granted the Ambassador of Germany to Sudan, Ulrich Kolkner, the Order of a Knee Lane from the first class in recognition of his role in advancing bilateral relations between Sudan and Germany. This happened during his meeting today at the Republican Palace Library with the German Ambassador on the occasion of the end of his work in Sudan. From the other hand, the German ambassador praised the great development witnessed by the bilateral relations between the two countries, expressing his admiration for the positive and peaceful change that took place in Sudan. The German ambassador expressed his thanks to the government and people of Sudan for the cooperation he found during his time in Khartoum, pointing to his country's contribution through the Sudan Partners Conference, which was held in Berlin in June. The first meeting of the Supreme Committee for the follow-up of the Ethiopian Nahda Dam file was held today at the Council of Ministers, headed by Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, in the presence of members of the committee and ministers of Cabinet Affairs, Justice, Foreign Affairs, Irrigation and Water Resources, the Director General of the General Intelligence Service, and the Director General of the Intelligent Authority. The meeting tackled Sudan's situation during the negotiation until the current round under the African Union sponsorship and discussed the unilateral filling from Ethiopia and their impact on Sudan and the path of negotiation in the future. The meeting secured Sudan's request to postpone the negotiations for a week to start on Monday, the 3rd of August, in order to complete the internal consultations of this important file. The meeting also secured the continuation of negotiations to reach a mutually acceptable agreement. Member of the Sovereign Council, Sadiq Tower, received today in the Friendship Hall a memorandum from the people of Jireh, the locality, South Darfur State, in Khartoum about the recent events in the locality. Tower stressed that he will follow the requirement of the Gireda people with the specific departments on Sovereign Council, Council of Ministers, and the South Darfur government. The representative of Jereda locality based in Khartoum, Nigmadin Ibrahim, said that they had delivered a memorandum containing the demands of the people in the region to provide security and stability. The memo further affirmed the importance of making the agricultural season a success and to open paths for the organizations to provide humanitarian aid to citizens as well as to ensure treatment of the injured. The University of Khartoum Forum for National Building and Democratic Transitional discussed today the axis of constitutional and political reform as part of its closing session in the presence of a number of members of the Sovereign Council, ministers and leaders of the regular forces, political parties, youth forces and armed struggle forces, in addition to civil society organizations and academic experts. Dr. Mohamed Abdesalam, Dean of the Faculty of Law at the University of Khartoum, reviewed the most important issues of constitutional and political reform, which included the constitutional making process, and he addressed the importance of legal reform for military and security institutions and accountability for past violations, including repeated military coup from these institutions, adding the need to reform the civil service laws and reform the laws of partisan institutions and create a fair political environment. Professor Suleiman Dibello, head of the Peace Commission, explained the importance role of UNAMID in supporting the peace process and achieving security and stability in Sudan. Professor Dibello mentioned the UNAMID mission in his office at the National Peace Commission. He said that security is the basis for implementing any peace agreement with UNAMID regarding issues of displaced persons and refugees in Darfur. He also praised Juba Platform for Peace Negotiations. Adibello said that the meeting touched some of the commitments that UNAMID is stick to supporting the Commission and the National Security Committee and providing
River Nile State. The newly elected Sudanese Professionals Association faction in Sudan's People Association Movement North Sector, headed by Abdelaziz Al Hilu, have signed political agreement in Juba, the capital of South Sudan. According to statement to Khartoum today, the agreement should be the basis on rights without discrimination. Al Hilu voices support to the transfer of his file from the Sovereign Council to the Cabinet and reiterated the total rejection in the Constitutional Conference for elaborating the partisanship in enacting the Constitution. According to media sources, the original SPA said in a statement that it will stay as leading member in the FFC and represents on all levels the structure and support all institutions of the transitional government. Now we remind you with the headlines. Al-Burhan praises Sudanese-German relations in all fields. Sudan postponed Nahda Dam negotiations to the next week. Jireda locality present a memorandum to the Sovereign Council in Khartoum. Well, that's everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.